Holy dooly, did you know this thing's going to South Africa to scare off lions? Yeah. Check out the build we've done before it goes on the ship. I'm Josh, this is Accelerate Auto Electrics and Accelerate Off Grid Touring, and this is a 79 series that we have done a full dual battery system in, in the cab. So this truck basically features 400 amps of lithium, inverter, socket, solar input, lights galore. So let's go through it. In behind this seat, there's something missing. Obviously, there's no seat. So this customer is utilizing this for a heap of storage and holy dooly, isn't it awesome? So what we've got back here is we've got two 200 amp Invicta lithium batteries. Now these are the SNLXs, so these are the Invicta Zero Rangers. So these are the new product from Invictas, and aren't they good? These batteries, pretty much we've wired them in parallel, and using the CAN bus system that they come with, we've pretty much made them talk as a single battery bank, giving us 400 amps of lithium. Now, there's a couple of ways we monitor these batteries, their health and their percentage. That's through the Invicta Zero mobile app on your phone. And we've also got the ePro pretty much battery monitor from Enerdrive mounted on the wall out of here to save pulling out the phone every single time. These two beasts are charged by the Redarc BCDC 40. Um, we've opted for a core model. So now, the reason why we've opted for the core is because it's mounted in the cab. We don't need to go the classic BCDC because it's in the cab. We're not exposing it to the elements. So the cores being a non-waterproofing unit, perfect for this application. Moving on from that, obviously all the 12 volt stuff in the back here is powered up off these beasts of a battery. We've got the Enerdrive EPRO shunt up on the wall over here. So that pretty much manages all the loads going in and out to give us a true accurate reading of our battery percentage and what is going on in here. Up here, we have a nice big heavy duty fuse box. So that houses all the charge fuses, the inverter fuses, um, and the main power supplies into this battery system. It is beautifully made on this nice board that we've made in house, pretty much to house everything up the back. Let's talk inverters. So 400 amp lithium. What we've gone for that is so we can run the 2600 watt and a drive inverter. This bad boy up on this rear wall gives us the ability to have 240 volt power wherever we may be over in South Africa. It's switched on and off by a remote display basically on the front of the inverter here. So it's just got a nice on off button. It's got a built in safety switch. So that means the circuit's protected. It is safe. If you plug something in, you're not going to electrocute yourself because this will trip where it's supposed to. Now, this is pretty much wired into a couple of power points in the system. So down here, we've got a double GPO, so we can plug whatever he likes in. Induction cooktop, you know, the drill, air fly flyers, air fryers, charge all our mobile devices, charge all our play devices, anything under the sun that needs 240 volt, this bad boy will do, and holy dooly, it's game changing. So we've covered off on 240 volt. Let's not forget about 12. So what we've got tucked on the end of this board, flush mounted, is a series of sockets. So either side we have a Gray Anderson plug dedicated for running fridges, um, those larger appliances. They're a 50 amp plug, so we can pretty much power up to a 50 amp circuit. And then we've also just got our standard USB A's, USB C's, cigarette sockets um, to plug in all your standard 12 volt goodies. Because as much as inverter power is amazing, you don't wanna run everything off that. Now, what this system also runs is all the lighting on the roof. So on the roof rack, you'll see we have a big light bar up the front and two side lights on either side of the roof rack. That is all ran off the auxiliary system, pretty much powered up off a switch up the front. Now, these lights are not wired traditionally. They're not wired to the high beam circuit and all this kind of jazz because they are, and holy dooly, I am not lying, I promise you, they are literally up there to one, give us some camp lights and be able to hit that switch to scare off the lions in South Africa. So the lights on the roof are pretty much wired directly off the auxiliary battery system. He can leave them on for days at a time before these batteries will deplete themselves. I do it with my roof lights. Being able to turn them on and use them as camp lights is amazing without having a flat start battery. So guys, obviously this system here is one of the many options we have for 79 series Land Cruisers. This particular one is a full custom build required to be done in the workshop. 
However, if you have a 79 and want a behind seat dual battery system, we have options available. So we offer a 100 amp and a 200 amp DIY behind seat battery system for the 79 series Land Cruiser. So click the links and check them out. All right, guys, as always, I hope you enjoyed this video of another build. This one's a bit cool because it's 100% Australian built vehicle going over to tour South Africa. That's pretty cool. If you have any questions about anything you see in this video, please leave a comment below. As always, like, comment, and subscribe. Check out this video up here, and you should also click on this one because it's awesome as well. See you on the next one. Accelerate Off-Grid Touring, powering your adventures.